Hey, for this video, we want to break down um, our latest music video that we shot. This was for a band called Del Perro. Earlier this year, we shot footage for them for some concerts, and then they reached out to us asking to shoot a music video with us. So we're pretty stoked for that. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through the video scene by scene and kind of talk about kind of what we're going for. So for the first scene, I really want to go for like an 80s kind of look. A lot of movies or music videos kind of have like this introduction of you hear something um, kind of playing and then all of a sudden the song comes in or the scene starts. And I just threw in some sound design, um, just a, a bicycle sound as well as just putting this actual sound effect of him riding. And this actually lined up really perfect because of the song actually starts with like two drum hits. So right when he rides over the paper, it happens to line up just in time for that. And then this next scene after this is the title. So I ended up, I really wanted to go for this close up look. So we used the 70 to 200 lens um, on the Sony uh, FX3. And so we just zoomed in as far as we could. And then I just really love that tight, you know, telephoto almost look. So for these next scenes, we featured him um, kind of just cycling around. So him on the cycle, as well as just close-ups of his feet, as well as his hands on the bars. We are just gonna, he's gonna be riding the bike and we're just gonna follow him on this while he sings along. Oh. Can you plug, Simo, can you plug my uh, Bluetooth thing in? So for the verses, um, I broke it down into three different sections. I want to feature him singing. So this first one, I had him lay down in a park um, and then you can kind of see the street in the background. But for this, uh, the equipment that we used was just the uh, 16 uh, to 35 G Master lens. And really to kind of get the look that we wanted, I wanted him kind of more in focus where his face is at and head, and then it starts to lose focus. So we just threw a diopter on the front of the lens and that's how we're able to achieve, you know, this look where it's more close up and out of focus, which I really like. And the next location that we found was this tennis court. I think it looks really sick, especially there were some people playing tennis there, fortunately, and we were able to get, you know, the tennis balls kind of going across, you know, the background as he was singing. So I think that was a kind of a cool effect that we had. So for the next section, we had him playing along. There was an interlude between the verse and the chorus. So I just had him, we found a cool street corner with some cool buildings in the background and just have him play along to the song. And then I just had him kind of have this poster that we had in the very beginning shot. He found that you know, poster and kind of just threw it off to the side. I thought it was just kind of fun to do that, throw that into the shot. So for the chorus, we wanted to change it up a bit because everything we shot already was during the day and I just wanted to differentiate the chorus from the verses. So we ended up shooting everything at night for the choruses. And the first scene that we wanted to do was this cool projector shot. I've seen this before online, but there's a website that we found that gave us pretty much the inspiration for this. It's called Eye Candy. And they have cool, like different shot ideas, different kind of techniques that you can implement into your filmmaking. And so there's this cool projector scene that I found. Basically it's a silhouette of him. And then just in the background, we have a projector um, just projecting this video that we made of Salt Lake City onto you know, a bed sheet that we had just holding it up by C stand. So it wasn't too complicated and I really love the look of it. It just looks cool. <laughs> and then after that, we have one more, which was the sign that actually says Salt Lake City is for lovers. So perfect for us because the song is called this and um, we thought, it's really cool because it's a neon sign, so it's a really good practical to add into the background. And it's just giving a cool um, hair or rim light around him. And then we just, since it was a little bit darker because we we're trying to expose for this light and it was giving him that backlight, we just had a tube light that we use on the side and we projected a green light to kind of contrast against the pink tones that, was, that were coming through. So just a nice contrast between the shot right here. So for the second verse, we just continued the same scenes from the first verse, and eventually we added in these shots at night um, just to show progression of the song, especially in the second half of the song. And so for this first shot, we just had him walking along the street corner that we found, and most of the lights were up front, and he was still pretty um, underexposed right here. So we just ended up, I was standing off to the side while Caleb was operating the camera and I was just holding a, the same two foot tube light that we had 
and it was just a really warm color so this isn't actually a you know street lamp in there it was a tube light and then this next section there was this eight count beat in the song um, so it was really just there's an impact on each you know count so I just decided to at each location to get like a head-on shot of him singing the lyrics to the camera somehow I don't hate it here the dreamers die and people live in fear of him and then finally one of the last scenes that we had kind of in here that will kind of be implemented into the last part of the video was him at this train station and so I really love the lighting of this there's a lot of you know background light textured light as well as um, kind of an overhead light as our and then we also had this red light kind of filling in the right side of him and so this was the same two foot light and we just connected to our phone and we we're just changing the intensity of it kind of to mimic like a car driving by so I thought that was kind of neat to have that in there and then fortunately I was able to edit it and look at it and I found that there's like this cool match cut that could be made right here so as you can see right here he's playing the guitar at the projection then as he's turning right there it lines up pretty much pretty close to this next one so nothing too crazy but it's just a nice little nice little uh, mishap that happened but looks good and then finally the last scene which is probably my favorite scene out of this whole music video because we filmed the scene um, once already and we're like let's just shoot one more just for safety and luckily this scene kind of worked in our favor um, so we had him end up playing the rest ending so we had him play the rest of the song to the very end and then he was singing and then we heard the train pulling up and so this was perfect because we were you know super stoked like this is like so sick and it's gonna be so sick for the video and then we just told him you can't hear it now because I just redid the whole sound design behind it but you can hear it's like get on the train like once you're done like hop on the train like it's gonna look so sick so he ended up just grabbing the amp continuing the video and we're like get on get on get on and it looks so sick because it just looks kind of like this wasn't this wasn't part of our plan initially we just had him just like play and then just turn off the amp and walk away but this train ended up pulling up just in time for us and this was the last scene so um, we were so stoked to finish the day off with this but and then also like even with this too it was the last train of the night um, it was already I think it was like midnight or something at this time and this was like the last train that was gonna run for the rest of the night so this is like we had so much luck on our side and it was super sick to see this you know happen but I think it really just made the video kind of wrap up and it was a good conclusion of the day as well as just the music video. Okay, and so that's the full breakdown of the music video that we shot. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, you guys can go watch it. It's on our channel. It should be the video before this. And we also are gonna do a breakdown of the color grading of this video because I just wanna show you guys how I kind of got this film look and um, kind of the different techniques I used in uh, DaVinci. And then we're also going to have some more videos breaking down some of our recent projects. So you guys, if you guys want to stick around, make sure you guys subscribe and you guys can check that out soon. But huge thanks to Del Peril. Um, we're glad that they reached out to us and we were able to create this sick video for them. And we hope to you know, continue to work with them and some, hopefully some more uh, music videos coming soon. So, but thank you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.